are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we're going to bring this engine up off the stand, mount the flywheel and the transmission, and see where else it gets us to. I know I got to do something with this too because that's kind of loose and deuce and loosey goosey in here, but we'll figure that out too. But let's get this thing rolling and get something done because that's what we should do, I think. So I borrowed this thing from Steve, it's an engine leveler, which should make it a lot easier for putting the engine in the van, in the truck, I would say. So let's get this thing up, up and this, that, and the other fucking thing. Oh yeah, this thing roll, I remember this thing, it rolls really good too. It's amazing. Hey, look at that, that fits good. Frig, what happened? Well, it should be okay. Maybe, maybe not. See what it does. I'm gonna say no, we're not gonna go with that. That's an accident waiting to happen. I need a D-ring or whatever the hell you call them. A doodad. I don't know if I got a doodad. We're off to a good start already, we are. Here's a doodad. One of these should work. Careful. That'll do it right there. Oh yeah. We got ourselves a doodad. For those who don't know what a doodad is, it's one of them right there. That's a doodad. All right. Now we should be safe. Let's go up again. Ready? Here we go. Captain. Oh yeah. Check that out. That's pretty damn level. Let me just give her a crank. Oh, we want to come backwards. And we'll get her really level. Eh? Decent. Let's get this stand off first thing, and then we'll go from there. We will. Careful. This is the first time this stand's been off in eight years. Pretty sure Mike said this engine's been sitting on this stand for eight years, Jim. That's a long freaking time, Captain. There she goes. Oh yeah. Something's happening. We gotta go up. Perfect. Up, back, and down, and over. There it is. Maybe. Okay, now there it is. Right on. We'll put the bolts on where they belong so we don't lose the pricks. If anybody's looking for one of these engine stands, hit me up. Cause I plan on not doing this again. But you never know, might happen. Okay, so we'll slide that over here for now. And now we'll get in here and we'll mount the flywheel. So we'll get out some Loctites and we'll get out some of this stuff. Is that the right size? Holy shit. What do you say, Jay? Come on down here. I know I got a heady mount on, but get down here and get in on the action. I'm gonna pull one of these back out at a time and Loctite the piss out of them and put them back in. Always lock your flywheel. One. We've got to figure out the torque specs on this too. It's pretty high, I'm thinking. Two, three. Okay. Did I get that one? Yep. Okay. So now that's that in, we'll give him a torquey torquey, which is that much. Small block Chevy flywheel torque specs. 65 foot pounds of torquage. 65, Jim. Okay, so we can't use that one. Where's my other one? Frank. Oh, we're gonna use a good one for this. She's gonna take all of it. 65. All right, there we go, 65 foot-pounds of El Torco. There we go. That thing's hard on the hand. We'll unload that. Down to zero. Now I'll bring the transmission over and we'll unite the two. And then we gotta do some other stuff after that. So, ooh, hey, ooh. A lot of thinking going on here, Jim. Bear with me. I'm trying to remember what the hell I did with the bolts for the Transmission to be honest with you who really knows not me 
Okay, we'll get this out. Out, I said. There we go. And then we'll bring her in. And as you see, we need to change the angle of the engine. So by doing that, we're just gonna turn this guy until we get the right tilt. Close, keep going. If you don't have one of these engine tilters, it's a must have obviously already. I've never used one, but I'm loving it already. So now we just gotta jack it up, bring her in. Okay, we gotta go angle down a little bit. More. Oh no, we gotta go down, up, in. Easy, okay. We're getting close. Oh, look at that. A little bit more, can you see that? Let's close this gap. So we wanna go this way. Is it that way? Maybe. Now we go down a little bit more. I'm trying to do this without any effort. I like doing it that way. Down a little bit more. There it is. Look at that. My golly, Miss Molly. So now we just gotta find the transmission bolts, which I put everywhere. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, maybe they're in the other engine. Or are these them? I don't know. I don't think so. No, they're not long enough. All right, that could be them. They're probably in the engine, let's go look. Let's bring the gun because we might need that. You wait here, Mr. Camera. Nope, I took them out. Great. Okay. Oh, here they are right here, for God's sakes. Put them in a bowl, along with the torque converter bolt, see? Three torque converter bolts right there. All right, so we'll slap these in here, but we're gonna need washers. They don't have washers, we're gonna need to clean them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, perfect. So let's clean them up. Okay, hey, those are cleaned up. Now we need some wash washers. Didn't have washers on it, but it's getting washers now. Cause that's what I do. A little bit on here. In the hole it goes. Perfect. Go here. Perfect. Dipsticky. Don't forget to stick your dipstick in first. Always stick in your dipstick, Captain. Never leave her half out. One more. There we go. They're all started. So now we can snug them up with the old 1000 here. You just want to snug them. Because you can actually bust the housing on the transmission pretty easy. Let's bring her nice and slow. So now we'll get torque specs of the transmission. So the bell housing bolts are 25 foot poundages of McTorquages. 25 foot pounds of McTorquages, it says. So that's not very much. I probably over torqued them already. 25, right there. See what we got. I don't know, they were 25, we're good. You know what? We're running a weird size socket again. What the hell? Are my sockets changing sizes as I'm using them or what? Let's get them snugged in a little bit more. There it is. 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 And there it is. There we go. Transmission mounted. Now what we can do is we gotta go up, put the torque converter bolts in. My next favorite part. So now to do this, we're gonna have to jimmy rig this thing a long ways down to get the weight of the engine. This might take a bit, just saying. Ooh, hey, ooh. Something's happening. It's getting lighter back there. Oh yeah, she's off the ground. Oh, look at her go, Jim. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That thing fucking kicks ass. Thanks a lot, Stevie. Ooh, you're getting hot, camera. You're gonna shut off soon. I can see that coming. The other camera's going into heat mode. We're gonna have to take a break in a minute here, which is all right, because I gotta put Loctite on our goop on this and that to seal that up and put that in and a couple other things off camera probably. So there we go, that's up high enough. So now we should be able to line up the torque converter. Oh man, I'm gonna need something to turn the engine over other than my hand. Oh, it's too loose. Smaller. There she is, boys. 
Ooh, careful. Not too far. I gotta do it from the other side because my old pan's in the way. My freaking old pan, Captain. Come on over here. Have a gander at her. So we're right here. So we gotta turn backwards over. Oh, why are you doing that? It's always hard getting the first one lined up. But once we're done that, she's golden. And that's not the hole we want. So we gotta go with some more. Oh shit. Hopefully this is the right flywheel. So those are the holes for the old flywheels. So we gotta use a new flywheel hole, which are right there. All right. So now, lock tight, hole in screw, pull tight. Just bring her in a little bit. Cause I wanna make sure we're gonna be right all the way. Next bolt. Oh, careful. Next bolt, right there. Get her started. Snug her up. Excellent, next one. Oh yeah. This engine sounds nice and tight. Okay, we got her. Now we'll check torque specs for that. Pressure plate, fasteners, harmonic balancer, doodad and doodad, torque converter. Remember, whatever I'm doing here, don't try at home because I have no idea what's, what I'm doing, to be honest with you. So we got, so three eighths is 40 foot pounds of torque. So we gotta go up to 40 and give her. One, two, three. All right, well, there we go. Torque converter is mounted. Friggin' right it is. We got the thread lock on this. We got the engine mounts on and we got the knock sensor in. And this here, we're gonna have to play with after because I gotta figure out how to move that bracket. So let's see if we can't set this in the hole by ourselves. Leave your comments down below if you think I can do it. Query minds wanna know. I think we're not gonna have enough height, but that's just my opinion. So let's get her done, son. Get her done, son. Captain, son, that is. Hey, we're getting right, boys. Girls, peoples. I need one of them ones, eh? Ah, did, did, did. Eh. Oh. Eee. Ah. Ooh. Ah, we're almost there. Oh, yeah. Let's move her in a little closer to the truck. Are you ready? I'm not. Oh, not too bad. This fucking cherry picker. She's kind of a pecker head. Oh, something's happening. The biggest thing about this is taking your time. You don't want to rush it. If you rush it, that's when things get all cocked over. Oh, careful. See, I don't want to hit my truck. No hitting of trucky. A little higher. Perfect. Now we go in. Some more. You are. Hoo hey, hoo hey, ah. Hoo. Put it right through the windshield. Okay. Oh, I do have to get another inspection cover. The 400 inspection cover must be different than the three than the uh, other one. So now that we've done that, we can start to give her the old tilt. Get her down past those lines. Uh oh. How you doing? It's all good. Careful. We gotta come in a little bit more, we do. Without hitting my firewall, would be great. There we go, perfect. Just a few little kicks. Damn wiring harness is in the way. Why wouldn't it be? Actually, let's get this right out of the way for a minute. Bring them over here, like so. And then we'll get that out of the way. Let's put a zip tie on that too. Zip tie or two or three. Good. Good, good. There we go. Gives a little bit more room. Wee, hey, wee. Okay, angle. Downy. Oh, oh, oh. Captain, what's happening? Oh, it's working. Something's working. Maybe. I don't know. Careful. Oh, we can hit that. That's okay. All right. In we go. Just a little bit. Ready? Oh, stop. More cranky. Hey. 
Oh, hey. Enough of that. Would have been nice to have a couple extra lengths of chain on this angle dangle. But hey, slow and steady wins the race. We can come down about two inches, only two, maybe three. Easy. Stop. Okay, now more angle. Let's turn this way. No, let's turn this way. No, let's just stand up here. Wrong way. Let's go this way. Oh, careful on the truck. One up. There we go. Good. This should have been on this end. I know that now. But we're too far to turn back. So if you're doing this, make sure this is on that end. I feel like a total idiot right now, but it is what it is. Captain. She's almost there, as you can see. We should make her. We should. I'm saying should. As in, we should make her. Look at her go. Can you see it? I can. There's a lot of cranking involved with this thing. And just hair. Oh, careful. Oh, yeah. I don't want to hit my firewall. It's nice and clean, shiny. Hey, I should put a rag on the end of that. Do, Dad. I wonder how much fluid I'd lose if I pulled that fucker out. Probably hardly anything. Let's try that. Shouldn't be much in here. Oh my God. Really? There you go, losing nothing and gives us more room. I'm liking it. Now we can go in some more. Okay, down. Ted, not much. Boat. There. Maybe a little more. There. Maybe a little more. There. Now. Nowhere. Actually, we can go down. Quit hitting my firewall. I'll get pissed off. Careful. Hey. What's happening? <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, God. Of course, the truck's going to go higher. Now the cherry picker's hitting the A-arm. That's the best jack I've ever had. You know that? It's working good right now. Down a hair. Good. In a hair. Good. Down a hair. In a hair. Ten four. In a hair. Down here, in here, good. Careful, easy, good, good, yep, good, mm -hmm. yep, mm -hmm. okay. Down here, down a bunch actually. Over, oh, on the freaking truck again. Why wouldn't we be? Oh, it's fails bring the truck up to it. I know there's a lot of these out here that can do this a lot quicker and better than me, but hey, I don't really care. Captain, it's working in it. Down here. Good. Now we can start straightening the engine out. We gotta do this all over again now, we do we? Okay. We wanna go. Which way are we going? That way. Oh god. I need a tool for this. Isn't there a tool for this? Gotta be. It's gotta be a tool for this. Captain? Hidden! Over! Hop! Oh, fuck. My log tight lid. Put that prick back on. Okay, more cranks. Something's happening, Jim. In. Ready? We're pretty much there. I think if I lower it, she'll fall right in, pretty much. Gotta give her a little wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Hey, wiggle. Oh, fuck. 
can't wiggle that. What do you think I am, Houdini? You're saying the friggin' engine mounts so they have no give at all. Probably should have urethane them fucking engine mounts. But I did. And now they're gonna grief the hell out of me. They sure are. Well, there's one. She's going. She'll fall in any minute now. Well, she didn't fall right in, that's for sure. Didn't mark the firewall. That's all that matters. Might have cut a few new fuel lines, but hey. Right on, Captain. She's in, the bolts are in on the mounts. So the engine's set. Let me tell you one thing though. Before the train coming, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep going anyways, because I got frustrated. So I urethaned my engine mounts to make them stiff. Well, the problem with doing that is they didn't have any give. So that's why I was wrestling with this thing so much because I couldn't get it over the notch because this wouldn't move at all. So it was really, I so basically solid mounted this engine without buying solid mounts. The way they're designed is to slip in and move around a little bit so you can set it in. So I basically had to wrestle this thing for about an hour to get her in, Jim. So it was pretty interesting, okay? But we got it in. So there you go, the engine's in. I just gotta take this apart, put something in there to wedge up the transmission for now. And we can push her back in the garage. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Love you all, and we'll see you on the next one.